Hi there. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how index and match function works and how can we combine both the function. So let's start. The index and match function is now widely used in almost every business. Essentially, it is a replacement for VLOOKUP function. There is precondition in the VLOOKUP function that the unique value must be on the left and the function must run from left to right in the worksheet. The index and match function on the other hand does not require such conditions. This function is combination of two function that is index and match. So let's use both the functions separately. First we will use index function. So what is the use of index function? Index function will let us know the value which exists in a particular column and in particular row. So let's take an example. If you want to know the value in fifth row and in first column. So let's see how we will apply the formula. Here type the formula. Select the whole table as we want to know the fifth row and first to column details. So let's type fifth row and first column bracket close enter. So here is the result D as we want to know the fifth row and the first column details of the data. Now we will use match function. So what is the use of match function? Match function will let us know the position of a particular value in a row. So let's take an example. Uh, we want to know the position of value D in first column. So let's apply formula here. Lookup value, lookup array, select the whole column and we want to know the exit match, close the bracket, enter. It is not showing you anything. Why? Because we haven't put anything here. So let's suppose we will place D, enter. See, it will show you the position of a category D. If you count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the position of a value D is fourth. Got it? Now we can combine both the functions and can get the desired result that is the category of each salesman. For index function we need the row number and column number which can be supplied by match function as we have seen above. So let's suppose if we want to know the answer in the sheet number 2. So how we will do that? The formula is pretty critical so let's see how it works. As we want to know our result in sheet 2 so we will apply the formula in sheet 2. Let's apply the formula in B2 cell. Select the whole table. Do not forget to select the header. Why we are selecting the whole table is because the selection of sheet where we need to find out the desired result. That's why we select the whole table. Okay. Again match function. Why? Because we need to know the row number for index function. Which we can get by applying match function. As we want to know the category of Rahul. We need to know the row number where Rahul exists. Okay. So we'll select cell. And in this table where Rahul exists, we will select the whole column. 0. Again match function. Why? Because we need to know the column number where category exists. By applying match function, we will know where category exists. Select the whole category column, 0, enter. It is not showing you anything. Why? Because we have to put the salesman name. So let's put the Rahul name. See, it will showing you the category A for Rahul. If you want to know the category for other salesmen, select the other salesman name, copy, paste here and double click on the formula. 
you will see the category for each salesman easy so i hope you will understand the function and the video will help you thank you for watching